we know that spraying the molly on the ring had a lot of great benefits and it worked for many, many years. But we found this limit in terms of adhesion uh, under high cylinder pressures. Well, the answer has been, okay, let's spray the bore in instead. We're not spraying in molybdenum, we're spraying in iron, but it's that same process and it creates that same kind of porosity. And that's really what you're seeing with, you know, either Suma bore is a trade name from uh, Orlicon Medco, but it's just a type of plasma spray bore be it from Mercedes or Porsche or BMW or Ford, all of these companies, Nissan, the uh, Nissan uh, Sky, uh, Skyline, that, that, that engine is a spray bore engine. So that technology is really what the OEMs are embracing. So there was, the, I'll, I'll call it that little bit of mid time where they were really trying to hone cast iron and try to make it better. But really where everyone's going is to spray bore technology. And it's, that's the reason is because it, that spray bore process makes it where you have porosity to hold the oil, to be that gasket, to have the right oil in the right place, the right time, the right amount, so that you can have proper lubrication between the ring and the cylinder. But then you can have the surface of that cylinder be mirror smooth you know just to give people who are listening some some ideas of numbers so if we go way back to say that 280 grit uh, abrasive finish that would have been appropriate for say a, a chrome type ring if you just finished with 280 and you took a profilometer and you measured that surface finish so the the ra the roughness average is going to be probably high 20s, low 30s. And if you look at the uh, RK and RVK, they're going to be about the same. They're probably both going to be in the high 30s as well. So it's a pretty uniform rough surface is what it is. Well, then you go to say the Molly right, the ring, and you go to say a 400 grit finish. Well, now you're talking about an RA probably closer to um, 12 ish. And then your um, RK and your RVK, um, they're going to be in the low 20s, mid 20s. But still a fairly uniform surface, just smoother. With the plasma spray bore process, we're talking about having an RA of less than 10, probably in the seven to eight range. And then your RK, which is that core roughness area, mm. it's going to be probably low 20. So it's going to look closer to what like that 320 grit or you know, 400 finish is going to be. But your RVK, that's the valley depth, that's your oil retention it's going to be probably in the 40s to 60s, depending upon how they spray it. They can, how they, the rate at which they spray the speed and the, the depth intensity will change the porosity. So they can change how much porosity there is in the surface via the application. So honing is just re uncovering what's there so i know of some plasma spray process where they can have that rvk in the 80s which gives you a ton of oil retention back to the ring package when you have a really high rvk a lot of porosity you really have to sometimes increase the oil ring tension in order to properly scrape that volume of oil off the wall because it can hold so much oil. Hmm. So that will be one of the things that I'm, I'm, I know the engineers are already working on is, it, which is also one reason why you see in low and viscosity oils from these engines. They're, they're telling you don't put a high viscosity oil in because literally your oil ring will stand zero chance to scrape it off. Uh, we've saw that with uh, some of the sumo board development we've done is that 
you know, most Porsche engines, you know, Porsche calls for 0.40 uh, from the factory. And you go put 0.40 in one of those engines with Sumabore in it, um, an aftermarket Sumabore, not what they're doing from the factory. Yeah, right. Because um, they've already figured this out. Uh, you will have oil consumption, like greater than normal oil consumption, because that oil ring just can't handle that high viscosity oil. You drop it down to uh, a 30 grade or even a 20, that oil consumption goes away. In fact, Ford, when we were working on the development of it our, ourselves with our partners, we actually found some papers from Ford that said for the... Um, I think it's the GT500. There's a couple of engines they have that have the plasma spray bore that basically said, if you run higher than a 5W20, you lose your warranty because there will be oil consumption. And when you have that higher level oil consumption, there could be detonation. So that, that was the thing. We're like, ah. Yeah. So yeah. 520 is our target. Okay. We put we went from 040 to 520, and all of a sudden the oil consumption got cut in half. Just like that. 